Tucker. Tucker. Deacon St. John to... Deacon St. John to Ada Tucker. Deke, did you find her? Uh, yeah. Tia yeah, Tuck, I found her and... Uh, she's on her way back. Wait, you let her go? Alone? Well, she took one of the squatter's bikes. She said that she was gonna be able to find her way. She, look, she didn't want my help. Ah, oh, God damn it, Deke. You should have brought her in. Well, why, Tuck? Why? Is something wrong? I mean, is there some reason she wouldn't want to come back? No, no, of course not. It's just a kid like Rose. She doesn't have a goddamn clue about what's out there. Well, I don't know, Tuck. Maybe she does. St. John out. Oh, hey. Me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right. I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units? I mean, I got them sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, the son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone too. As soon as we get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh, I might not see you again, you know? him now. They're getting away. Go after who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. But I trusted him. Oh, God damn it, Tuck. You shouldn't have. No. He's taken the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Forks. All right. I'll see if I can track him down. Deacon St. John, this is Ada Tucker. Alki wanted me to tell you that the camp is thankful for all the runs you've been doing. We need all the help we can get.
damn it, sniper ambush. <laughs> Ambusher, yeah? I gotta take a closer look. I know what 
you touch a Leon and Alvarez. Then I'm gonna win. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Ah, uh, uh, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? Uh, uh, Deke, no. Uh, uh. No, no, no. Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You, you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Deke, uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm gonna leave that up to Alki. Hey, Tuck, I got Deke. him. Uh, Mark down these don't coordinates. Don't leave me here. Have Alki I heard what you did to Leon, okay, Deke? I, 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 please, man. He's Come alive. on, please. Did he have my drugs? Let's see. Deke, no. Yeah, he's please, alive. please, we rode what together, remember? That way, you and me, we were friends! Up get off his ass. St. John out. Please, please! Oh, I don't want to die. Hey, Boozman, ah, you there? Don't leave me out here. Yeah, Come on, untie me! Crazy question. Oh, Any damn you! Find a God damn you! Egg. What the hell for? The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't know, maybe Miriam Forrest. Yeah, okay. Thanks. No, no, no. Oh, sniper. Oh, 
Oh shit, not now. So I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today. should be it. It's all right. Open it up. Hey. Manny. Feeling any better? Looks like your bike needs some loving, D. She <laughs> don't want to run out of fuel in the shit, that's for sure. All right. Yeah? 
you got a problem. We got some good shit if you're buying. Good choice. That'll last you. Nice. Okay. I'll be here if you need anything. Hey, man. Good to see ya. How's it going? Hey, hey. Nice. Okay, then. Hey, thanks. Hey. I'll, uh, What's going on? See you later. Deacon. What's up? You need something? Nope. Just gonna close my eyes for a bit. <sighs> I was ready to go back at it. Damon. Wait a sec, I got it.
should work. It's okay. Open up. I've been pretty busy the past few days. Got this one drifter who comes in more than the other. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Sandy. Stuff's getting scarce. See ya.
Lisa, I... Go away. Brush yourself. That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't, because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. John, stop by Peaceful Lake when you get a chance. Copeland, I hear you. St. John out. Oh, here we go. That should be it. Not looking too good. I feel like a million bucks. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know I was. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm all right. I'm all right. Trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Shit, come on, come on, come on, come on, think.
Here, come here. I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh. Yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula and Gustafolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They... They think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... God. Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with the farms about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's going to wind up in prison and take you with him. So what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Hey, there's more over here! Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Wow, look at you being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> No, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants, and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring them here. For you. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and feral after all. No, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs>